This is the Ibis Polyphemus. This one has the rotating option, which gives you the, I'm gonna call it rotisserie mode. Notice a few times the spools were supposed to be spinning, they would get stuck, or if they were too heavy or too light, they wouldn't spin. So what I did, I added, as you can see on this side, I put some heat shrink tubing on it. And let me go ahead and show you how the difference. When you put the heat shrink tubing, it's, it's rolling constantly. And I haven't had it get stuck yet because without it, this is just regular plastic and it has no actual friction. As you can see it rolls easily. When you put the heat shrink tubing, it gives it a little more friction so it's somewhere it actually catches the spool easier. And that's a spin easier. You can add it on and at the end I will show how you can easily remove it and it won't cause any issues to the rollers. But to do this, this is what you will need. Heat shrink tubing. You get the if you have a kit or you have a you have a longer size. As long as they're half inch or 12.7 millimeters. So if you have the smaller ones, this is your roller. You have to put two of them together, shrink it. And when you shrink them, you're gonna have a seam in the middle. It'll still work without a problem. If you have one of the longer ones, this one is four feet. This thing you'll just cut it to the size you need. You just measure it, cut it, and if you get the longer length, you'll end up with something like this one. You can see it's all it's one single piece. Can't really tell depending on how you trim the sides. That's your option for your tubing. You will also need a heat gun or a blow dryer. Heat gun's faster. But if you don't have it, a blow dryer will also work. I would suggest not using an open flame because you can burn your rollers. You're also gonna need something to cut your tubing or to trim it. I have this there pipe cutter, or I use this for my PTFE tubes, or you could use a, an X-Acto knife or any blade, anything to cut your tubing. And you need a screwdriver or anything similar so that you can hold your rollers while you're drying it. So I like to use it as a regular screwdriver, put it on as you're drying it, that way you're not touching because this can get really hot. Just roll it and you're done. So this is very easy to remove the rollers. All you have to do is just, just some pressure, just a little bit of pressure, pop it up and you can just pull it out. See, it has your bearing on this side. It goes through the outside end. There's your roller. I'll be taking this one off too. Just pop it up. There's your roller. This one, like I said, already has it on. I'll be taking this one off. Comes out very easy. It leaves no residue or anything on the roller. This one had it. I took it off. There's this piece. Put these to the side. If you want to look inside, this comes off easy. You just have to remove this up. This comes off. This is what makes the roller spin. Turn it on. So you can see it spin. It has a little gears in there. And of course, you already, you have the little motor here when it dies out, which I'm guessing after a certain while it will die. They give you a spare one. I've been using this for a while and I haven't had any issues. I always do rotis remote on it and no issues at all. So you have a couple options here. You can cut this exactly the size, heat it up and it'll shrink. The thing with that, when you cut it a size, it's a shrink tubing. So it's actually going to shrink in and the sides are going to be pulled in a little. If that doesn't, it won't matter either way. What I like to do is I like to cut it a little bit bigger and when it shrinks, I'll just trim the sides off like this one. 
This one was trimmed so it's exactly matching the profile of the actual tubing. Either way it will work. I have here this tube cutter. This is what I use for my PTFE. But if you have just any blade or scissors, you can just cut your tube. So I'm cutting a little big, so I'm not really measuring much. <clears throat> this is this way. If you do decide to do the two separate tubes, or that's what you have, that's easy also. Same thing, just, you can just put them on, shrink it, and cut it. But those are your options. So here's a tube. So I have my heat gun here. I'm going to set it up to six or seven. Now you're starting to heat up. Let's start from the middle. As you can see, it's already shrinking it. Now keep it too long. You don't want to burn the tubing. As you can see, so you shrunk on there. Honestly, you can't even tell it's on. Let this one cool down while that cools down. I'll show you how this one, how easy it is to cut this off. Said so I had done this one before. It was running fine. I just wanted to <clears throat> switch it over to to the one color, and I could so I could also show you how easy it is to remove. Residue is right off with nothing, just with my nail. Same thing for this one. There you go. Make sure your roller is clean before you apply the new one. Cut this one a little more to size. smaller gonna have it on seven for my heat gun first time I did the red and black it took forever then think about putting it higher see since I cut this one a little smaller you can tell it shrunk a lot more and you can actually see the sides let this one cool down be careful with your heat gun but of course you know that's blazing hot you can burn something or yourself Trim it however you want. 
I'm using this little tube cutter. Works great for me. Cutting up the lines a little. Careful with any sharp object, of course. Okay, so here you can see a difference. As you can see, this one shrunk a lot, shrunk a lot more. I didn't cut it to size; I cut it a little bit bigger, but it did shrink. All the sides are exposed. Still works. Still gonna work just fine. We're still gonna keep it. That's it. These are done. We put them back on. Check your bearings. This is the part that goes outside, goes through the outside in. Actually, to put them in, very simple. Put them in there. <clears throat> this part, the smooth side, goes facing in. The side with the indents that are holes in, goes facing out. What to do, just grab it. Put this in first. Put your bearing aside. Put your holder out a little. Just press it in. In. Smooth side in. Bearing. Pull it out a little. Just snaps in. There you go. Power it on. You see constant spinning, no issues. Here's my spool. Even if I put it in a corner, no issues. thing also if you're using your filament dryer to feed your printer it's still gonna roll we'll do an example so you're feeding it it's still rolling no issues not even putting a lot of force on it still feed one thing also, since heat shrink wrap, as it's heating up, all it's going to do is just keep it tight. It's not going to shrink it even more once it's already on there. So I've been using this for a while. I haven't had any issues at all. It's been working great. That's it. I had this rotation issue with my dryer. I found a solution, and I wanted to share this, and I hope somebody else finds this helpful. Thank you.